So in this module, that is module 4, we will be learning about the introduction to mechanical vibration, concepts of introduction to mechanical vibrations. So these are the contents of this uh, chapter, that is introduction, terms used in vibrations, uh, types of vibrations, simple harmonic motion, principle of superposition applied to simple harmonic motion, work done by harmonic force and uh, some uh, numericals. So coming to the introduction part, so what is a vibration? A motion which, repeat, uh, which repeats itself after a certain interval of time may be called as a vibration. So we experience uh, vibrations in our uh, day to day life. Uh, some of the vibrations are required and some of the vibrations are not uh, uh, necessary. So if it's an example of any machine component um, or a uh, uh, structure or a vehicle so in that many vibrations will be set up so there are many causes for uh, vibrations so due to this uh, vibrations uh, there will be uh, there will be that will be leading to the damage of the parts so vibrations should be minimized or vibration should be controlled so there are many methods of controlling the vibrations so in this chapter we will be learning about what is the vibration, what are different types of vibration and how to minimize the vibrations and uh, some numericals on simple harmonic motions. So many of the concepts here are very simple and uh, the definitions are very very simple. So vibration is the motion of a particle or a body or a system of connected bodies displaced by from the position of equilibrium. So Vibration occurs when a system is displaced from a position of stable equilibrium. The system tends to return to this equilibrium position under the action of restoring forces. The system keeps on moving back and forth across its position of equilibrium. So these are some of the main causes of uh, vibration. So the, the first one is unbalanced forces in the machine. So we have uh, learned some of the concepts in balancing of our rotating masses. So when there are unbalanced forces in a rotating part, what happens that will be leading to the vibration. So this is one of the main cause. External excitations. So excitations uh, which are um, from the external forces. Dry friction between two mating par uh, parts. If I take example of any two mating parts, so the friction which is there between the two mating parts that will be leading to the vibration earthquakes winds these are the natural calamities so these are the some of the main root causes of vibrations so as i told most vibrations are undesirable as they produce excessive stresses energy loss increase bearing loads induce fatigue undesirable noise partial or complete failure of the parts if these vibrations are not controlled properly it leads to partial failure of parts or complete failure of the parts so these are uh, some of the types by which we can reduce the vibrations that is see this undesirable vibration can be eliminated or reduced by one or the more of the following methods that is using shock absorbers so that uh, we use in our vehicles dynamic vibration absorbers these are used in uh, heavy machineries in industries resting the system on proper vibration isolators and uh, removing the causes of vibrations so these are some of the basic uh, things by which we can control the vibrations so now let us uh, see the terms uh, used in uh, vibrations so first one is periodic motion what is a periodic motion a motion which repeats itself in an equal interval of time is known as periodic motion so what is a cycle? The motion completed during one time period is called as cycle. So then what is a time period? The time taken to complete one complete 
cycle is called as time period. Next, what is frequency? Number of cycles per unit time is called as frequency. Amplitude the maximum displacement of a vibrating body from the mean position is called as amplitude. So, what is natural frequency? When no external forces act on a body after giving it an initial displacement, then the body is said to be under free or natural vibration. The frequency of free vibration is called as natural frequency. It is expressed in terms of uh, radians per second or hertz. So, what is the uh, damping? A resistance of a vibrating body to the motion is called as damping and uh, resonance when the frequency of external excitation is equal to the natural frequency of system a state of resonance is said to have been reached at resonance the amplitude of vibration is excessively large so what is phase difference it is the angle between two rotating vectors representing simple harmonic motions of same frequency. If I take example of two simple harmonic motion motions of same frequency, so the angle between these two simple harmonic motions is called as phase difference or phase angle. So now let us see. We will take the example of two vectors that is x1 and x2 having the frequencies of omega radians per second. So the vibrating uh, motions can be expressed as what? x1 is equal to a1 sin omega t. x2 is equal to a2 sin omega t plus phi. Since because of the quantity phi, the two vibrations do not attain their maximum displacement at the same time, the quantity phi is known as the phase difference or phase angle here. So next, what do you mean degrees of freedom? The number of independent coordinates required to describe the motion is called as degrees of freedom. So if I take example, simple example, so degrees of freedom may be in x direction, y z direction, z direction, or any two direction, three direction, so there may be n number of degrees of freedom depending upon the system. So what is a simple harmonic motion? A motion which repeats itself in equal intervals of time is known as periodic motion. So here simple harmonic motion is the simplest form of periodic motion. A simple harmonic motion is a reciprocating motion. So now coming to the next type that is the types of uh, vibrations. So as I told vibrations in a system can be classified three categories. The main category that is free vibration, forced vibration and self-excited vibration. So what is a free vibration? So free vibration is the vibration that occurs in the absence of any force. There in this condition the damping may be present or may not be present. So damping as I told it is mainly used to control the vibrations. So how is a forced vibration caused? An external force that acts on the system causes forced vibration. So when there is any external force on the system that causes forced vibration. So now coming to self-excited vibrations, they are periodic and they are deterministic. So first, what do you mean by free and forced vibration? So when there is no external force acting on a body, after giving it an initial displacement, then the body is said to be under free vibration or natural vibration. Okay, just one initial force is required. So later that force is not required. This type of vibration is called as free vibration. The oscillation of a simple pendulum is an example of free vibration. 
So now coming to first vibration. What is the first vibration? When the body vibrates under the influence of any external force, then the body is said to be under forced vibration. Example, machine tools, electric bells, etc. These are some of the examples of forced vibrations. Next, what is a damper and undamper vibration? If the vibrator system has a damper, then there is a reduction in amplitude over every cycle of vibration since the energy of the system will be dissipated due to friction. This is called damped vibration. In simple terms, a system which has a damper is called as a damped vibration system. If the vibratory system has no damper, then the vibration is called as undamped vibration. So next, what do we mean by deterministic and random vibrations? If the magnitude of the excitation force or motion acting on the vibratory system is known for us, then the excitation is known as deterministic. So the resulting vibration is called as what? It is called as deterministic vibration. So what is random vibration? If the magnitude of the excitation force or motion acting on a vibratory system is not known for us, but the deviations are known, then the excitations are known as non-deterministic. So the vibrations are resulting from these kind of non-deterministic vibrations are called as random vibrations. Next coming to longitudinal transverse and torsional vibrations. So first one, what is a longitudinal vibration? When the particles of the shaft or disc moves parallel to the axis of the shaft, then these vibrations are called as longitudinal vibration. Figure here, that I will show in the next slide. Next, what is transverse vibration? When the particles of the shaft or disc move approximately perpendicular to the axis of shaft, then these vibrations are known as transverse vibrations. Figure B. Next, what is rotation or torsional C? When the particles of the shaft or disc moves in a circular circle about the axis of shaft, that is shaft gets alternately twisted and untwisted on account of vibration motion, then the vibration is called as torsional vibration. You can see the figure. So now we can see here three conditions. Okay. All the three conditions are shown in the figure very clearly. Longitudinal, transverse and torsional. So next, what is a transient vibration? The free vibrations continue indefinitely in an ideal system as there is no damping. If damping is not there, then free vibrations will be continuing indefinitely. So there is a reduction in amplitude of vibration continuously because of damping in a real system. And it ultimately vanishes. This type of vibration in a real system is called as transient vibration. So, these are some of the basic concepts of vibrations.